Hi students, immunodeficiency refers to inadequate immunity and it's termed spontaneous immunodeficiency if it occurs on its own and the child is born immunodeficient. One such severe immunocompromised condition skid or severe combined immunodeficiency also known as Swiss type A gamma globulinemia is a rare genetic disorder rendering the patient extremely susceptible to infectious diseases. As suggested by its name, SCID is characterized by improper development of both B as well as T lymphocytes due to a defect in at least one of the nine or more possible genes. It's also known as so-called bubble boy disease because its patients have to be retained in a closed bubble-like sterile confinement being extremely susceptible to a number of recurrent bacterial, viral and fungal infections since their birth itself. This condition is usually fatal unless a hematopoietic stem cell transplant or gene therapy is carried out in time. David Philip Vetter who lived only from September 1971 to February 1984 was a classic example of skit as he braved this disease for 12 years despite being born severely immunodeficient. This boy suffered from ADA skid, an autosomal recessive disease. ADA stands for adenosine deaminase, an enzyme essential for cell metabolism. The absence of ADA manifests in an accumulation of toxins within the lymphocytes resulting in lymphopenia or a reduction in the lymphocyte numbers. ADA skid patients have the lowest numbers of T cells, B cells and natural killer cells than any other type of skid. Hence, they succumb to opportunistic pathogens. Moreover, its symptoms start showing up at a really young age that is soon after birth. David was kept admitted for a long time at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, Texas after his birth. Much before David was born, his parents had already lost their first son to skid and were cautioned by the doctors that if they had any future male progeny, the chances of him inheriting the disease would be really high. The couple still dared to have another baby who managed to survive as it was a daughter. They went on and their third child, David Vetter, was born on 21st of September 1971. From his mother's body, he was directly received in a special sterilized plastic cocoon bed. David had to be continuously aseptically provided with sterile water, air, food and even sterile clothes in his inflated germ-free chamber. Best efforts were made to help him live a normal life, including a formal education, a television, and even a playroom inside his sterile chamber. As time passed, he was becoming increasingly aware of the outside world and had started feeling deprived from participating in it. Then, in 1977, researchers from NASA even designed an expensive, cumbersome, but sterile, amazing and foolproof clothing made up of special stuff that even allowed him to get out of his bubble and walk in the outside world without serious risk of infection. The suit was connected to his bubble via an 8 feet long cloth tube. Approximately $1.3 million were spent on David's care in total. He later on did receive a bone marrow transplant from his sister Catherine, which indeed turned out to be successful too. But unfortunately, soon after the transplant, David became ill with infectious mononucleosis and died from Burkitt's lymphoma at a tender age of 12. This could be attributed to the fact that patients have to be maintained immunosuppressed during transplants so as to prevent the possibility of graft rejection. The autopsy revealed that his sister's bone marrow contained traces of Epstein-Barr virus 
which went undetected during the screening done for the transplant. Upon entering the immunosuppressed body of David, it multiplied and produced hundreds of malignant tumors. Hence, despite the success of his transplant, David wasn't lucky enough to survive, but he will undoubtedly be remembered as a classic success for transplants. This also raises an ethical question whether it was correct on the part of his already cautioned parents to take the risk and end up becoming instrumental in David's drudgery. This guys was a touching story of an innocent victim of skit which we Brahmjit and Archana yearned to share with our esteemed audience. We thank you for watching and shall be back soon with more such eye openers. Stay learning till then and bye till next time.